Diabetes is an epidemic. Worldwide, there are around 450 million patients with diabetes. This figure is predicted to rise to 650 million patients in the next 20 years. In Israel, 30 years ago, we have 200,000 patients, and today we have 600,000 patients. Diabetes is also a social and financial disaster. In Israel today, 30% of the expenses on health goes to diabetes. Every third child that is now born will develop diabetes in his lifetime. Low socioeconomic groups and ethnic minorities in Israel are disproportionately affected by diabetes. In Ethiopian immigrants, diabetes prevalence dramatically increases the longer they live in Israel. Arab women show twice the rate of diabetes as Jewish women. Systemic change is needed to address this, and civil society and community action is key. Today, we became as the Americans and Europeans. There is more and more sugar, and the life is more and more. In this way, we see that it is necessary to do and with a reasonable amount of food and activities for the health. طبعا المجلس المحلي في دائرة الكامل وفي هناك توجيهات واضحة على أنه نعمل بشكل واضح من أجل ما يسمى ناش حياة صحي. Research indicates preventing obesity in children is key in the fight against diabetes. We did an outstanding study on 17,160 diabetic patients demonstrating that SGLT2 can prevent the progression to renal end-stage disease or can prevent heart failure in a broad population, also in diabetic patients who are relatively healthy. However, there was large proportion of patients who will still deteriorate in spite of the drug. The meaning is that the time to prevent diabetes is at the very early stage of your life in order to prevent obesity, which is the main reason for diabetes. Several large studies, the largest of them is a retrospective, prospective study on over 50,000 children aged 17, demonstrated clearly that children who are obese at the age of two to six will be the children who are obese at the age of 17. At the Child Health and Sports Center, at the Mayer Medical Center, children with their family support are treated for obesity using exercise, nutrition, and behavioral intervention. We know today that obesity starts very early in life, so we have to treat it as early as possible. The advantage of starting at the age of two or three up to the age of six, A, is we know that these are crucial years for the development of obesity, and B, these are the years where children are younger, we can change their behavior, and we have schools and preschools and kindergartens which children uh, go to. Preschool teachers has enormous power on the development of childhood behavior. If you have a good intervention program to promote health in preschools, probably those children will remain more healthy than other children who are not into those programs. At Beersheba Kindergarten, Carasso Science Park, children are taught about healthy lifestyles and positive behavior through learning about science. הילדים אצלנו בגן מתמחים במקצועות הסטם, אנחנו מעוררים בהם את התשוקה לחקור וללמוד את הסביבה הקרובה אליהם, ומתוך כך את הסביבה שקרובה אליהם, הם בעצם גם לומדים להעריך את הסביבה ולדאוג לסביבה ולעצמם, ב- ולהיות אנשים בעצם הרבה יותר טובים בעתיד. Israel is one of the few countries to have a national plan to treat and prevent diabetes. Part of the national diabetes plan is prevention of obesity in the population. We also have a coalition of people. Everybody who have interest in health in Israel are being gathered in healthy lifestyle. So we are now leading nearly two million people, one quarter in the country together as a very strong group that can push the government. We also have a strategic partner with the food industry. The food industry 
now understand that they have to put a lot of their effort to change their food, to reduce sugar, to reduce salt, to reduce fat, and also to reduce the size of the food. But more than this, they have to help us in the education of the very young population for a healthy lifetime. We have a strategic partner with the Ministry of Education, and we are now building a very unique digital program for a healthy lifetime for children. And we have partnership with the Minister of Health. Mainly ultra-processed food that has a lot of fat, saturated fat, a lot of sugar and a lot of uh, salt will be marked with a front of pack labeling. Some schools have like kiosks or a cafeteria. So we had a regulation passed last year that all the food that is uh, sold in school will be healthier and there will be no unhealthy products, no uh, ultra-processed food, etc. Around 400,000 children are getting lunch at schools, so now they're, going, they're having only healthy food because it's a huge market, the advertisement and marketing of unhealthy products and unhealthy foods. So we had a committee that was working within the last year and they had the recommendation, they are now writing the recommendations to have regulation over the food marketing to children. I am very optimistic. Already we see on the last four years reduction in obesity in children. The coalition that we have now between the government, with the industry, with those who have high interest in the health of the population, give a high promise that within 20 years we will see great reduction in the development of obesity in children aged 16 and 17 and with it, great reduction in diabetes, diabetes mortality, and cardiovascular mortality.